Hi guys, Blaze Through Gaming here, and welcome back to another Destiny 2 video. And in this video, we're going to do a Destiny news roundup of the last couple of days. So let's get into it. So, guys, we have had some cool and exciting news from IGN's first over the last couple of days, starting with exploring the new survival mode, which will be joining Countdown in Destiny 2's competitive mode. So, if you don't know, PvP in Destiny 2 is broken into two game modes. First being the quick play, which consists of control and others to follow. Other mode is competitive, with countdown and now survival. So what IGN did to show off survival, they have also introduced a new PvP map called Altar of Flame. And there is a link to Osiris in this map. Uh, I believe it's to do with, obviously, the Trials of, Exi of Osiris. Um, I'm unfortunate I have never actually managed to make it to the Lighthouse or past the first round. Like I said, not brilliant PvP. So, moving on, Bungie has said new map suit survival as there is a lot of ways you can attack the opposing team. If you remember Skirmish in Destiny 2, it looks like survival is kind of replacing Skirmish. So, so survival will be 4v4 just like the rest of PvP and each team starts with 8 lives and as you get killed you will you will automatically be respawned back into the game. Once you're out of lives you will be knocked out of the round but don't worry you're not out of the game. The first team to knock out the other team will earn a point and the first team to win 3 rounds will win the game overall. At the start of the game in the center of the map you will find the only power ammo cache site and you will want to get their first to help control the game. Both teams will spawn on opposite sides of the map to each other so it is a good idea to make sure you get to that center of the map so that you can get that power ammo and have that ability over the other team to you know kick the butt and uh, no in my luck I will be the one on the other side not get the power ammo. But with some of the new subclasses we're getting with with the new characters we could see some really some really good options to defend the power ammo site as well that's how I'm calling it. In the tour of the new map they do show some areas that we can attack from and try and get the advantage or simply apply pressure to the opposing side. One of the last points made was that that teamwork is crucial throughout PvP no matter what game mode you are playing. So if you're a lone wolf, you're a player that likes to go off in PvP by yourself and you come across to an enemy, they are literally going to rip you to shreds. So they've based this whole, not just PvP but PvE as well, they have based the whole game through the fact that they want you working as a team working together to conquer and get through things which I think is really good especially for someone like me who doesn't do very well at PvP in Destiny 1 getting better though getting better so yeah as a whole we got a new map we found out a new crucible mode as well to go into the competitive side um, I also want to link in another article as well that released on IGN's first so let's jump into that second piece of news, which was the new Cold Heart Trace Rifle Exotic, which we first got a look at back in E3 when the big show from WWE interviewed Pete Parsons, the CEO of Bungie. Now, I don't know if you saw that interview. It was a pretty good interview. What I'll do is I'll try and leave a link down below as well if you wish to see it. Um, obviously, E3 was back over in June now, uh, so we are getting along a bit of time, so you've probably seen it. But if you haven't, it's a good watch. I'd recommend watching it. But I digress anyway. Let's get on with this. So in this video, they go into details about Cold Heart, which is a whole new weapon system type, which they are calling the Trace Rifle. But this is no ordinary rifle, as it fires a freaking laser beam, if you want to quote Austin Powers. You know, I do like my film references, I'll try and get them in all, as much as I can. So yeah, they do fire a freaking laser beam, which makes it super powerful, as you hopefully see in the description, as it does destroy Cabal shit. And they do state, the longer you hold down the trigger, the more damage you will be able to do over time. So it's one of them, as soon as you start, it might not be making much damage, but as you get along with it a little bit more, you'll be racking up the uh, damage as well as, you know, priority hits as well. At this point in time, the Cold Heart will be the first and only trace rifle within the game, but it has a lot of potential to be a whole new art type within the game of Destiny 2, as they have basically developed the whole new technology themselves, um, which I think is pretty cool. And hopefully we'll get to see more potential trace rifles 
going forward and maybe not just a solid laser beam but more like an auto rifle style one I think personally that would be quite good. I've got a feeling that this isn't going to be an easy rifle to use and from what they're saying in the video it does take a lot of practice to get used to it. That would be a lot of the fun points behind it anyway. So that was a quick roundup of the last couple of days of news that have come out. So we've got survival mode in PvP competitive side as well as a new map Altar of Flame and obviously we've got this new weapon type which is going to be an exotic which they have also stated that this exotic will be dropping with the main game in September. So they're saying that if you pre-order the game that you'll get access to the cold heart at some point but don't worry if you haven't pre-ordered the game uh, you still got time but if you are going to wait until the game's out and then buy it don't worry if you want to get this weapon you will be able to do so probably around December time or around the same sort of time as the first DLC possible but don't take my word on that I don't have full confirmation only from what I've heard going forward so with the aim of keeping this video short I'm going to leave you there with that snippet of information but all the videos I've got I will leave in the link below so you'll be able to catch a glimpse at all of that from the IGN guys first so yeah guys until next time I have been based through gaming thank you very much for taking the time to uh, listen to my uh, news roundup but anyway guys thank you very much it means a lot if you've watched this video but until next time, hope you've enjoyed. Peace.